Hi guys, here we are for another cool class together. The inspiration of today comes from organic and curved shapes and lines like when you play with some paper. Using this concept we will create a very decorative vase with an articulated surface using Autodesk Fusion 360. Now let's get started together. Step 1. Creation of the base. Let's start creating the base drawing a new sketch on the top plane using the spline tool. Draw the shape, trying to create a lot of curves until you are happy with the result. Fix the shape afterwards moving the anchor points of the spline and playing with the handles. Check the dimension of the vase using the Smart Dimension tool in the Sketch section of the top menu. And in case you need, use the Scale tool in the Sketch section to resize your design. Keeping the shape. I'm making my vase around 150 mm wide using the scale tool to resize it and using a scale factor of 0.75 to obtain the final result. Now select the extrude tool in the create section of the top menu and create a base of 5 mm for the vase. Step 2. Creation of the walls of the vase. Create now a new sketch on the top surface of the base. Select the top edge of the base and create a 1.5 mm offset of it using the offset tool in the sketch section of the top menu. In case you need to invert the direction, add a minus before the value. Make sure to have the offset inward the base. Now select the space between the edge and the offset and extrude it using the extrude tool in the create section of the top menu. I'm going to set the height of the vase at 100 mm, which makes it proportion with the base. Step 3. Creation of the fillets. Select now the bottom edge of the base and apply a fillet to make the edge less sharp. Select the fillet tool in the modify section of the top menu and apply a fillet of 2 mm. Now select both the edges of the top part of the wall of the vase and apply another fillet. In this case, 0.5 mm of radius is enough to create a softer look. Step 4. Save your design and export your SEL file. Now that your vase is ready, we save the vase in our Autodesk Fusion 360 cloud. Click on the saving icon and save your design. Once saved, the new name is appearing at the top of the left menu. To export the STL file for 3D printing, right-click on the new name and select Save as STL. Now that your design is saved and exported, you can proceed with 3D printing it and decorate your house with this cool modern shaped vase. Stay connected with the KiraKira Kira community, sharing your designs on your own profile on kirakira.com. You can get inspired by other users and learn how to create other cool projects.